Hi, I'm Mike Capazzola, and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on the bets the movers and shakers on Wall Street are placing. This week, we're looking at one of the most exciting and interesting sectors in the market, biotech. There are dozens of companies operating in this space, all hoping to find the next big thing. But the one that's grabbed our attention this week is Presogen. The Maryland-based company is a dedicated discovery and clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. It develops next-generation gene and cell therapies that use precision targeting technology to combat cancers and autoimmune diseases. The business has five products at clinical stage, four at stage one and one in stage two trials, and has another 11 products in development. These treatments are aimed at conditions as diverse as type 1 diabetes, ovarian cancer, heart disease, and solid tumors. The company has a market cap of $854 million and last updated the markets in early August when it announced first half revenues of $60 million but an overall loss of $70 million, or $0.45 cents per share. In terms of liquidity, the company had cash and cash equivalents of $113 million at hand at the end of June so it should be well funded for the foreseeable future. Indeed, its R&D costs have been falling and were down by $14 million, or 50%, in Q2 this year thanks to a combination of discontinued businesses and lower third-party fees. Over the first six months of the year, R&D expenses fell by 40% compared to the same period last year. At the same time, revenues in the first half were up by $4.8 million year on year two. Presogen got an additional vote of confidence recently as a subsidiary of German pharmaceutical giant Merck chose to exercise the convertible bonds it held and turn those into an equity investment in the business. The Merck subsidiary Aries Trading acquired 6.7 million shares in Presogen at a price of $3.70 per share at a cost of just under $25 million. That purchase took Merck's holdings in the company to 14.8%. Merck's decision to convert the bonds into stock may have been driven by the recent share price performance. Presogen stock is up more than 69% over the last six months and close to 200% from March lows. The stock is rated as buy by analysts with a consensus target price of $10.50, which is around double the current trading price. Interestingly, several leading fund managers, including BlackRock, Vanguard, and Miller Value Partners also own the stock. This looks like an interesting, well-owned and well-funded company with a good pipeline of drugs and treatments, but a relatively modest market cap just the kind of stock that could make a bite-sized acquisition for larger industry players. But remember, always do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.